gathered here as one, one people, with what rose from our mother, the earth, as we too are like the flowers of his creation. They've asked me to say the opening prayer, which I will do so in Malakota language. Adia 
sjeće mi ta sljedeće, a i bi ta. Menar, kućoh avakhava, oja te ova uća kafe ti, lehan o afe ti čaču. He uder uvita, nukama kataha, ina uči, Ya <laughs> Walk up is your own to cash in our country. One which shall have one which shall be cheap. Now walk here on each lap to get an uncoop here. Hitch it, Jack. Dakumakata or Yashu or Hikshevichasha, I which I will. Makaki let her appear at Yashniki.
But the urge to help people, to doctor people, is strong in me because I've been doing it over 30 years. And it is so good to see a sick person get well. A ceremony, a pipe ceremony, is one night in the eagle's way. The Yui is to go four nights to heal somebody. But in our eagle's way, we have just one night of ceremony. And uh, of course, that's not enough. Mir miracles do not work that way. The older, the, uh, the older, the sickness is, it takes that much to, more time to heal. When you address a sickness right at, at the start, you can heal it quickly. And with ages too, you can doctor a baby and it be, you'll be healed right there. But with an old person that is brainwashed with them in the mission schools and elsewhere, the government way and all that. He has all of that doubt in his mind and it takes a longer time to do a doctrine there. initiate the different parts of the sacred rituals that were given to us. The sweat lodge, the, the pipe pass, the sun dance, and the pipe ceremonies that we have. Uh, I know that uh, good things will come about. The Indian prayer is always for the pipe pass samblicha consists of the real pipe pass is four days. The sun dance is four days also. Also, it pertains to four consecutive years, four consecutive summers. So that Indian prayer is that long.
when I was young, uh, I had to stay away. I had to run from the thing. I had a secret dream. I had to run from that. Doing hard work in many states, Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, and working hard. I even became a councilman. I worked five years for the church too, in trying to, in trying to get rid of this. And that's how I became a medicine man, gradually. The Great Spirit doesn't forget anything. If you do something on a sly, you can't get rid of it. If you do something good without telling about it, he will know. A good medicine man works in his own community and the people know, know that he is doing good. Trust is the greatest thing there is along with truth and honesty. And I don't see that in, in the outside world. My eyes have seen that, and I know.
I would like to talk about Ochetiwaka, which uh, translated is uh, the sacred fireplace. The purpose there is to have a treatment center that deals with alcoholics and drug abuse. And when it get it to function and we would like to infuse in there the sacred rights of our people that the Great Spirit gave to us. We want to uh, 
use the sweat lodge, the pipe pass, and the sun dance. And uh, using these, I know that we can deal with that greatest of disease that is assailing us. We urge that they remain there. If they really truly want to get cured, they will remain. Anything that is good, it's hard to attain. Anything in the world. When we say something to the Great Spirit, we should adhere to that. We should remain at that. We're talking not to people with one on one we're talking to a, a great powerful being and when we tell him something we should not change it
this continent was abundant in grass and that all that was virgin on it, beautiful, pure, and so good, even to look at. This one old buffalo, it was a windy day, and he was up in age, and I suppose he was a little hard hearing, but he seems to be hearing some voice crying, crying bitterly. So he managed to follow this voice, this old buffalo did. And he finally came upon a corroded a blood cloud. It was a blood cloud. And it was this blood that was crying out. I am cold. I am hungry. I am weak. So the Great Spirit put in the mind of the buffalo to have pity on this blood clot. And he said, uh, look at me. I am big and strong. So when the blowing north wind blows, I can walk to it, not feeling cold. And I can gallop, a slow gallop, all day long. So I am that strong. I will give you these and much more. I will give you myself so that you can survive, feed yourself and your children, my flesh. So at that moment, the buffalo adopted the Indian, the Lakota, as his younger brother. Together, we will walk. Good medicine man works in his own community and the people know, know that he is doing good. Trust is the greatest thing there is, along with truth and honesty. I remain in my own, and God loves me for that. I'm a humble man, I'm a poor man. So when I ask him for something, he grants me to the sacred path. And I want goodness in the people, especially those that seek my help. That's all I want to say.